Hey guys, I am back with another Feed the Beast episode. So today we are getting ready to set up all the nitty gritty stuff of the inside of this building. First I just like to say, how do you like my nice little uh my nice little chandelier type wrath lamp thingy up here? Keeps everything lit if I hit F7. You can't even tell actually. Maybe I can show you that it F7 is actually on. See it's actually on. If I come in here you notice there's no spots. I had to put a torch back there, but there's no spots that uh, isn't already uh, you know lit up enough so mobs don't spawn. Even up there, I lit it up with torches just to make sure. Uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's see here. So on one side, which I think I'm gonna put on this side over here, we need to make uh, we need to put all 64 of these. Uh, igneous extruders down. Now the reason I made 64 is just because you know uh, I'm gonna be putting overclockers. I only made 16 for my 16 recyclers but I have 32 transformers so hopefully I can do a direct line into my recyclers which would be really 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 handy uh, but I need to make kinda like this wall of stuff but first before we do that let's go ahead and uh, we'll just set down these guys. Let's see Let's just set down a few, like the wall is going to be, oh, I don't know, let's see, how wide is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So where's that block at? Right here? So it looks like here maybe? Whoops, that didn't, wasn't supposed to go there. Oh. Uh, one more. There we go. So I think I'm just going to make a wall kind of going upwards like that. I think that should leave enough, yeah, that'll leave plenty of room for me to kind of do what I need to. I don't know how high it's going to go. I might move it over, actually. Yeah, let's move it over. Uh, oops, didn't pick that up. Just move it over two. That'll that'll be enough, I think. Uh, that'll look a nice. So I need to make a wall there. Uh, but let's see here. We need to do a few other things. I'm going to use a router to pull the cobble out of these guys and it's going to put it into a chest and then this router is going to pull the cobble out of that chest and put it into my uh, 16 recyclers so let's see here what's the best way three four five six hmm uh, no those two aren't going to get power Unless I go underneath, which I don't really want to do. How can I do this? What's the, let me let me get out my wrench and start whacking these. Come on now, you have to, have to whack it on the side. Wow. Cool. So let's pick these up. Let's see if we can do this a little bit simpler. Maybe do it like this. And then, well, I mean, I have to somehow get these all connected. Yeah, I'm going to have to do what I didn't originally want to do and run the power underneath, which is not a big deal, but uh, kind of a nuisance. So that means that we can do this a little bit differently, though. Are we going to have enough? Eh, that's, that's fine, I guess. So the first thing we need to do before we start anything else is... Uh, put all of the transformers, that's not the right place, and, or, and a overclocker in each one of these. So uh, this is going to be kind of boring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up these guys. What I'm going to do basically for this is I'm going to set this top part to open and uh, click the rest of these off. Uh, that'll just keep it so that uh, you can pull stuff out of the top and then with this I'll set it all up with my uh, components and stuff to make sure that uh, it'll pull the cobble out of the top of of the igneous extruders into this and put it into a chest and then uh, this here will just pull out of the chest and put it into the uh, what's um, the bottom or something and then I'll have another router here basically that will be pulling uh, uh, how's that work? yeah It'll be pulling out of the out of the recyclers, the scrap out of the recyclers, and be putting it into probably the mass fabricator, which will be here. But I'll just have it, I think, go into like a chest, and then I'll pump it out of the chest into a mass fab. 
because it has to because I don't want to have to make more of these components and stuff so I'm gonna do that real quick off camera because uh, like I said I have 64 of these to do and you guys don't want to watch me you just click this whole all of these all 64 of these and then place all of these in here so I'll be right back as soon as that's done alright guys so I'm back and I'm over here and you'll notice this new stuff that I have sitting around here and uh, this is factorization power uh, it's pretty cool I've already made a tool as well in here I can show you uh, so there you go you can see this is having uh, collecting 35 power it's collect it's connected to 12 things and it has a charge of 106 so that's what the charge is in there right now we come over here you can notice that um, this is 100% storage and it has a 106 charge just as well and then here of course you've got this stuff here now let's talk a little bit real quickly about this uh, I I um, don't really want to go too in depth because I've still got that whole thing over there so this is a uh, wind or solar turbine so you need the water under here because these mirrors heat up the water which makes the blade spin which makes power and the reason I needed uh, to build this stuff, this is a crystallizer. Uh, the reason I needed this is I need to get these logic matrix. So I had to make these Iverium drops, which there is no recipe on here, so I had to go look for it. But it's a diamond in the center uh, with gold at the, at the you know, these, uh, how, do I, how can I show you this real quick? Uh, so diamond in the middle, gold here, and iron in the very outside, and that'll make your that'll make your Iverium drop. Okay, awesome. Now these you can stack in here, uh, obviously up to four, and then you can put four smooth stone in the other slots, um, and you'll get four of these at once. That's what I did. I wasn't sure how many I needed, so I just went ahead and did four. But as you can see, there's a lot of different things that you can make. You can make a slime ball. I mean, if you really need to I think that's milk actually I know it says recipe but I, I'm pretty sure it's actually yeah it's milk uh, but yeah here's sulfuric acid this is how you um, you use this to triple your uh, your 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 ores I guess with iron gold tin and copper uh, as well as silver and lead I guess as well I didn't realize that but uh, yeah so the, these is like you know, like use this to like triple your your output or something like that I have no idea exactly how it works uh, but somehow that that's how you do that but anyway I use these I use two of these guys that's what I needed to get these logic matrixes which is what I used to get the uh, uh, machine filters and the item or well, not the item filter but the machine filter but anyway let's head back on over and uh, we will take a look at what I have done over here because I have this completely finished now Ooh, I'm running and stuff well not completely finished I mean this portion that, that I talked about previously so I've I've configured all of these guys they're all uh, completely full with their 64 cobble as well as this chest and this guy now what I was going to do originally was uh, you know have a router here a chest and the, this router would be here and this would be a double chest but that doesn't work because then this guy steals it from here and here before it has a chance to put it into the recycler so that doesn't work so that's what this guy is used, being used for he's sending the cobbles into this guy and then the recyclers are obviously getting cobble from the router and uh, so the uh, uh, I think does this guy have the machine filter no it's this guy yeah this guy has a machine recycler or machine filter so that he will only give to the uh, he'll only he has a machine filter so he'll only give to the recyclers and that's so that he won't actually connect with any of these pieces then this has um, this has a machine filter as well where it will extract from the recyclers uh, and put them into the chest so it'll sh it's extract out the stuff and that way uh, this table can uh, you know use the scrap and as you can see I've been running it to make sure it works alright uh, I even have one piece of UU matter that came out of it because I was running it for a little while but I, I um, 
I stopped here because I knew you guys would want to watch this. So I did put an MFSU here because I want this to continually, uh, you know, after the, or how do I want to put this? While this uh, is switching their uranium cells and such, um, <clears throat> I wanted it to uh, continually, um, you know, use up power in the recyclers, but not the uh, that thing. Uh, but um, I, I have to add. A few more MFUs, MFSUs to that to this line because I need uh, I need f five I think uh, yeah I need how, how does that work I think I think it's five I think I need five to feed into here oh wait no 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 that's not true that's not true what I was gonna do is uh, actually pick this up and uh, the power is going to feed straight from this guy. The reason I had that MFSU there was so that I could power that without having the uh, re reactor on. But anyway, yeah, so this makes UU matter sweet. So the next stage, now if you want an in-depth tutorial, let me know and I'll do it. But the next stage is now getting the UU matter out of here and uh, being start crafting all the stuff that's needed to make the the new uranium cells now um, if I come over here and come into my uh, reactor chamber you see I already have the reactor in here with all the stuff in here uh, this is gonna change I am not using uh, this stuff at all I've actually completely changed my design but I'll show you that uh, uh, when I'm ready uh, we're going to incorporate a few new uh, items and concepts to this whole thing. We're even going to we're going to get some thalmcraft in here. We're going to get some uh, some turtle craft or computer craft turtles in here and stuff. Oh, it's going to be sweet. But right now, uh, let's start working on taking the UU matter out of here and putting it somewhere. Uh, and this is kind of where the turtle is going to come in handy. So I need to oh gosh, I need to make a turtle and get him ready. Let's come over here. Let's get uh, one of these and one of these. Yeah, one of those. And we need a chest as well. Oh, we have like just a crap ton of chest on me. So uh, actually, I can do that. Turtle. Let's look up how to make turtle. Here we go. Computer. Uh, well, I mean, everyone should know how to make these, but pretty simple. So, um, I need to write a program for this guy, and hopefully it won't take too long. I already know pretty much, uh, in my head all the script I need. I just have to check it and stuff. But we're, uh, as you remember down here, we've got, uh, these sorting, sorting machines. We're going to use a bunch more of those. So, let's start working on this, just setting up the concept so you can see it. Uh, and I'll be back with you guys once it's you know, once it's set up, and I'll show you all the parts. All right, guys. So we are back, and uh, this thing has turned out to be a massive undertaking. I didn't realize uh, how long, how big of a project it would be, and I'm still not finished. Uh, well, I'm finished with this room. Uh, I just have to do stuff over in the actual nuclear reactor. So let's go ahead and show you. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of stuff, right? Uh, you might be a little bit overwhelmed, but trust me, it's it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, so let's start off with, uh, you guys already know this. The, these make uh, cobblestone, gets turned into scrap, gets turned into scrap boxes, and gets put into here to make UU matter. Now this little guy, which I haven't actually set up yet. Um, let's just... Uh, I don't have any of those cables on me. Alright, we'll have to do that before we actually start. Um, I don't know where I put those. Ah, here they are. Just kidding, we'll do it right now. So this guy here, he is going to pull uh, just the scrap from here and give it to this turtle. Now you might see this like weird shape here. Now the UU matter is not going to go over here because there's not an actual destination for it. So it comes here and goes to this turtle. What this turtle does is once I start him up actually, 
what the turtle is now doing is he is waiting for you matter to come and he's gonna check for quite some time and he's gonna fill up uh, these 11 slots with you matter and then get a half a stack here and once he does that he'll detect it and he'll drop all that straight down and then that's where this gets distributed but before we do that let's m move on to this part so then once the turtle drops all the stuff he's gonna move over to here and he's going to sit above this chest, which I'm going to change eventually to the ender chest for my sorting uh, system. So all the extra UU matter that I'm creating will get put over there. So the, the turtle will come forward and sit here, and he'll continue to get UU matter until uh, he... Um, how do I want to do this, actually? That might not work. I don't know. We'll see. But he'll continue to get UU matter until this lights up which I want it to light up I think uh, I want it to light up when this doesn't or when it has space I think no 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 that's not what I want it to do I'll have to play around with this to figure out how I want it but basically I want it to continue to uh, I, don't want, I don't want it to do that that's interesting I'll have to I'll have to think about that oh no I, I, I've got an idea actually all right but anyway I've got an idea how to change this 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 is rubbish don't don't worry about this but anyway he uh, this part here will basically stay the same except I have an idea of how I'm gonna fix it which I'll do that off camera but for now uh, what he do what he does then is he just uh, drops everything down in here until the new cycle uh, will once the new cycle happens so once uh, all the uranium over there uh, gets out and is ready it has to be switched with this stuff he'll he'll move back uh, and get ready to send the next batch of UU matter down which will be created into the uh, quad uranium cells alright so now after all of that uh, or, or I guess before all of that once he drops all the stuff, it gets here and splits into these uh, four uh, colors. Uh, so blue will come here, and this might give you a little bit of hint on what I'm going to be doing uh, with the um, nuclear reactor. But here we're making lapis. So I've calculated this out very precisely. Uh, uh, I've done the math like three times to make sure it's all correct, and I think I've got it down perfect. I'm I think almost 100% positive I have it perfect uh, so he's gonna send these all of this stuff to the lapis and it's just gonna start making lapis like crazy and then this is just gonna start sucking lapis out and and moving it over to the reactor um, after that he's gonna dump this amount here of UU matter into this box which will make copper which will be used for the copper plates uh, He's only going to dump 9 UU matter into here, which will be used to make uh, the tin cans. And then uh, this will come over here to the wood, and it'll make a brand new set of, of these guys. Now, I might have to change that. I'm actually pretty sure I'm going to have to change that. Uh, in a two-hour time period, I don't know if these are going to all break, how, how often they're going to break, you know, that kind of stuff. So right now it's set up so it, every nuclear reactor cycle uh, these will go through a cycle basically which I know is not correct and I'm gonna have to change it but we'll work on that uh, in, in the future uh, so next uh, after it's all done that the copper and tin will be pushed over to here and go into the electric furnace I've actually got tin in here because I haven't set this last part up which is just red there we go and I can just throw that in there because I don't need it so there you go, you actually saw some stuff happening because I've been having uh, just the leftover, like the uranium that I had left over and stuff, is, it's getting made into such. So the um, the copper and the tin will get smelted, and the copper will come up here to this compressor where it will be compressed, uh, and then this will send it down here, as you can see, let me get my stuff out, uh, here. So three will go here to make the quads, and one will go here to make the uh, dual uranium. And then, um, yeah, the tin goes here. And so the tin will be made into cells, which will be made into uranium cells, which will be made into uh, dual cells, which will then in turn be made into quad cells. 
then this will suck the quad cells out which I should probably make another quad cell I have one down here but I should make another quad cell probably on my own in order to put it in here so that it only pulls out the quad cells and not the dense copper plate but yeah that's basically it and then of course over here this uh, UU matter gets made into wood which made it into sticks uh, which pulls it out and pulls it down into here I need to put a bunch of string in here uh, makes it into frames which then puts it into here uh, and then you guys have already seen the setup and everything so pretty cool I have not tested it yet that's that's the one thing I haven't tested it uh, I have a few things I need to do over in the nuclear reactor like I said I'm gonna completely change the whole system so I need to do that and I also need to make one more quad cell uh, to put into that sorting uh, system thingy there everything else is hooked up I think except for the nuclear reactor so I am going to take uh, a minute here to get all the supplies I need to get the nuclear reactor ready and also dump that quad cell in there and I'll be back to set up the actual nuclear reactor alright guys I'm back for just a second here while I show you kinda what I did with the uh, with the golems here and stuff I haven't set up any of this stuff yet because I just don't have uh, the pieces for my nuclear reactor yet but I do have all of the pieces out uh, I just had the golem do that for me actually it was pretty simple uh, but anyway uh, I have three golems in here and I'll go get to all those so as you can see blue does come up I think oh I might have to cover that actually I know I'm gonna have to cover that I'm gonna have to cover that uh, note to self cover that <laughs> anyway this golem here uh, once I get done he's gonna be pulling out the uh, the depleted, what are they, what are they called? LH, no, LZH. He's going to be pulling out these guys once they're empty. So the um, LZH condensators, which will be completely empty, he'll be putting them in this chest here, which uh, this f uh, will obviously have, actually if I, I can probably do it. Uh, no, actually it won't work. Uh, but here he'll be putting them in here and this f fabricator will use it with a piece of lapis to make it 40% full and then this will have lapis in it and it'll be used again to make it an 80% full and then this guy will take the 80% full one and put it back in its spot uh, so that's all those guys do so this guy pulls the empty ones out this guy pulls the 80% one and puts them into this uh, so that was pretty simple actually it was it was not a very hard task to do uh, uh, as you saw probably maybe with dire wolf he did it and I'm just pretty much copying his design the one thing I did add to it was this golem over here who he's gonna be pulling out near depleted uranium cells because uh, those are byproducts from the running of the nuclear reactor so pretty cool and then this thing here uh, when it has space in the inventory because this is gonna be completely full uh, when I'm when I'm done uh, putting everything in here so when it's when it has space in the inventory which pr pretty much just means when it runs out and it's not working anymore uh, it's going to come over here oh come on get in here and it's gonna turn it, this one on which is giving off a redstone signal which the turtle can detect and I've just got to change uh, his script a little bit more uh, so actually why don't I just do that on camera real quick oh whoops I hit reboot instead of terminate uh, so edit start up so this is I don't, did I show, I don't think I showed you this, but yeah, oh yeah, I did. He dumps the 32, uh, then he he'll drop it all. This is function just to drop all that, um, and then right here is where it's at. I need to change this and the other one to front. I think that's the correct code, and then I'll have to come up here and get rid of all of this change it saved exit reboot Bling. now uh, I don't actually have enough uh, UU matter on the side actually after I've already put all the UU matter in here and and such I don't have enough to actually um, make this run all the way through in order to kickstart it so I'm gonna have to kickstart it myself which is gonna kinda suck but uh, it's not not really a big deal I'll, I'll deal with it um, so yeah, right now I'm going to go make those LZ condens condensators. I need a lot of them. Uh, how many did I say I need? I forget how many I said I ended up needing in the end. 
uh, but a lot I do need a lot so I'm gonna go do that and then I will be back with you guys uh, when I'm ready to actually start the reactor up and and get it all running and and awesome and in and, and such so I'll be back in just a second alright guys I'm finally back uh, after quite some time because I had to wait for the two of those things to go all the way down two of the uh, LZ condensators as you can see I had to wait for them to go all the way down in order for it to work but now it's ready uh, everything's ready uh, the the golems have their uh, items that they they need all I have to do is uh, I have to obviously hook this up this is a thermal monitor it's just set to five or a thousand I guess set to a thousand actually I'm gonna turn that down I'm gonna turn that down to 500 which is what it's originally at um, all I have to do is connect it so we need to do that uh, with a sensor is that what they're called uh, what are they remote sensor kit so we need to go make one of these well we're gonna make two of them actually and uh, th and then we're gonna be pretty much ready to go I mean uh, there's not much more to do uh, so that's nice uh, we just have to I have all this UU matter in my uh, inventory that has to go towards lapis to start the lapis but everything else should be just ready to uh, go because it'll you know it'll make uh, the UU matter will you know get set and ready and everything Ooh. it'll get set uh, and made and everything and 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 be processed and be uh, ready for the next you know run so I have to put one piece of that up there to start it we need to get some of these. We're going to get two of these, and the reason we're going to get two is we're also going to make something else. So these, those are easy. Those are pretty easy. I think I might have. I got one, so we need to make one more. What we're going to need, we're going to need uh, one, two, three more actually. So uh, eighteen of those, six of those, and three of these guys. Awesome. So that should get us the last of this. There we go. Those last three of those. Uh, what else do we need for this? Okay, so we need uh, six more of these guys to this and two wires. That's it. Just two wires. Cool. So now, basically, oh, we need paper as well. Uh, paper. Uh, those won't stack either. Paper. Where can I? Do I have paper? Was there paper in here? Yes, there was. Awesome. Cool. So now we're gonna get two of these remote sensors, or oh, not, because. There you go. I have to put it in myself, I guess. Which is cool. It's not a big deal. So those don't stack, but that's not a big deal, actually. Uh, so we've got both of those, and then we are going to need... Alright, guys. Uh, sorry about that. My computer just decided to completely take a dump. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Lovely. Just amazing. I loved it. Uh, uh, I'm definitely going to have to restart my computer sometime very, very soon. It, it's bogging down like crazy right now but anyway uh, let's go ahead we're gonna make the last few things uh, which are these industrial panels and extenders uh, so here's the panels they're just lime uh, electronic circle circuit some uh, black dye then these guys are just oh those are really easy so we're gonna make uh, five of these and one of these. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So let's grab this, let's grab that. Let's grab a stack of this. Ooh, did I not pick that up? There we go. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. I can't really do anything. I'll be right back as soon as uh, I have all these put together. All right guys, so I'm making a range upgrader right here, as you can see. And I'm going to stick these into here because we're probably going to need them. I might have to make another one actually, but I'm not sure. So let's head on over to our site. And we're going to use these uh, sensor kit thingies. Um, we're a little too far. 
There we go. Awesome. So these two sensor kit thingies. So we're going to need both of these. So let's just click both of these on here. We're going to put one of them up here. And that should start working now. Um, it does need power though, doesn't it? Yeah. I've got an idea of how we're going to fix that though. Uh, I'll probably just do that off camera. And then the other one is going to come back here. And I think I'm going to make some other improvements off camera as well. And I'll, I'll let you see all of them and everything. So let's see. Is this going to be enough? So we're just going to reactor. Reactor 1. And, oh yeah, we need... Um, for that guy, uh, for this for this information panel, you don't actually have to power it. You just need to give it a uh, redstone signal. So out of range. Okay, so we're going to need to make one more of those guys, which is fine. We've got uh, The only thing we need to get is one of these. So just make uh, one of these guys real quick. And then that sh this for sure, I think, uh, should be fine because I think I've tested it before. Like that guy and there we go so this should make it uh, all right I think and there we go yay uh, so we're going to take we're gonna put um, uh, what are we gonna take off I don't need to know the max heat and uh, I want to know the heat level I want to know that melting I don't really need to know that Actually, let's, let's keep it on there so we can have something to compare the temp to. So there you go. That's pretty cool. It has the name of the reactor. tells you if it's on or off. Uh, tells you the temperature of it, the melting point at the of the reactor, as well as the max heat, which will tell you the uh, point at which it will explode. The output of the EUs, which this is going to be a 2040, and then the time remaining. So pretty freaking awesome. And... Um, I'm probably going to you know, hide this back here and put something here that I can use to control it, uh, the reactor from here and stuff. Pretty cool. And I have to power that guy that's over there that I set up, that thermometer. So um, what we're going to do now, which is the final thing, is uh, just start making it run, basically. We're going to turn it on. And uh, uh, let's get on over here. What I need to do first, like I've said... Uh, I need to dump the the UU matter into here to start making lapis and lapis will start getting pulled out as you can see it's getting pulled out oh it's actually going through a few times and we got we got a little bit extra I might have put more than what we needed in there let's go see but first uh, before we go see let's uh, turn this guy on He's going to start taking all of those guys on out of there and put them over here. Oh, wait. I guess before I do anything, though, I should probably... Oh, he is ready. Uh, this is all ready. This is hooked up. These are guys are hooked up. They're ready to start receiving power, basically. And they should start receiving power here pretty soon. I just have to put the last little uh, doohoppy on. Uh, this guy. Uh, so I'm just going to wait for them to fill up before I start it. Not that it makes that big of a difference because uh, it's it, it really just won't. Uh, so before we do this, let's look in here. I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I put too much in here, I think. Huh, interesting. I put... I put the lapis in in a bad way I think I don't know I'll fix that as well but here we go guys we're gonna turn it on that should get it running good that's running now it is it is running uh, so when these guys when these LZ condensators get to 9999 as their meta uh, this guy will pull them out as you can see 9999 he'll pull them out put them in here uh, and it'll It'll convert those with the lapis in this one. This one will convert it with the lapis in that one. And then this guy over here, where is he? Over here, he'll just pull them out and put them right in. Boom. Pretty awesome. So let's go on over. 
Oh, I'm stuck. Let's go back and just look at that monitor real quick before the end of this episode. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. I, it should be 200 or 2040 for the output. And it is 2040. And it tells you there's two, two hours, 45 minutes, and 50 seconds left. And there's no temperature right now, which is awesome. So that's going to be a nice little addition, I think, to this whole room and everything. Uh, next episode, I'm tearing all these barrels down, I think. They're just they're going to go. Uh, as well as the barrels over here and the barrels over there. And I'm going to tear them all down. And I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to start making, well, I might not tear them down next episode. But I'm going to start making applied energetics, uh, applied energetics. I can't speak. Applied energet applied energistics. There we go. Got it finally. But it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna set it all up. We're gonna be able to access it from anywhere within our base. I think pretty much. Well, I mean this this building. Anywhere within this building, we'll we'll be able to access it without even have to like run over and find all the stuff. And I think it's gonna cut out some of the lag. I think the barrels are are giving me some lag. Uh, that's the last thing other than the actual sorting system down here, which is giving me, I know for a fact it's giving me some lag, as well as like the timer is there, uh, and, and all my pipes and wires and stuff. It's going to give me some lag as it is and everything. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, but we're going to see if using applied energetics, uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool, but we're going to see if it's going to help us out even more. So let me just take these guys out finally and put them back in their slots turn red to any bee and there we go <clears throat> now they're gonna start they're gonna start breeding again and start going at it pretty cool pretty awesome it's gonna work out amazing I hope so I'm gonna let this run you know in between um, episodes for a while just to see if I'm creating enough scrap to come in, come into here you know whether I'm creating enough UU matter how quickly I'm making UU matter things like that just to see as you can see it's going up pretty quickly but we'll, we'll do all that next episode so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this and uh please leave a like favorite share all that jazz you know leave a comment if you have any questions or any suggestions and uh last but not least if you have not subscribed hit that subscribe button or else you're gonna miss out that's all there is to it so thanks for watching guys have a great day goodbye